Approximately $97.4 million was spent on the refurbishing of all health centers in Region 6. Julissa Hines reports. Last year, over $97 million was spent on refurbishing all health centers in Region 6. This was highlighted by Regional Chairman Mr. David Armagan and Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony during their remarks at the opening of the infectious unit last Saturday. We spent over $97 million refurbishing the health centers in our region to make sure that primary health care can have a boost because you know, uh, if the, the conditions of some of these health centers were left to, to be run down. There were hardly any seating accommodation, the buildings were bad, the conditions under which people were working were not good. And so now that we have been able to uh, bring better conditions to these places, uh, hopefully we can be able now to deal with our public in a much better way. The chairman went on to add, and so these health centers too, conditions, uh, the, 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 the lot more is going to be done at these health centers to make sure that uh, we can assist patients who are suffering from chronic diseases, uh, making sure that they can get their diabetes medication, making sure that they can get their blood pressure medication at these health centers once we have them on the list. Uh, instead of coming here and, you know, uh, crawling up the New Amsterdam Hospital and having to wait for many hours and complaining too. Minister Anthony also alluded to the developmental works executed at the health centers. If we look at the health centers that we have, every single health center in this region last year would have benefited from some a form of repair or another. He then disclosed the reasons why they carried out these developmental works. We did an assessment earlier and we found that there were people who were coming to health centers. Sometimes the guards are there. You know, people have this habit of getting out very early to come to the health center. So even if the thing is opening at 8 o'clock, they want to be there from 6 o'clock. When they get there at 6 o'clock, most of the times there was nowhere to sit. They, they, they didn't have benches, they didn't have a shed maybe to shelter them from the weather. And that became very problematic. So people come there early, but the comfort um, in the facility was not there. Very often too, we had simple things like um, somebody waiting there, there wasn't any uh, washroom available if they need to go to the bathroom and things like that. The minister added, So little things that can make a big difference. And when we did that assessment and we found that there were these little irritants that people were experiencing every day, we thought that it was very important to make this investment and to change those conditions. And so, uh, because of the hard work of the team here in the region, uh, we have been able to address those concerns. So at every health center now, those concerns have been addressed. Dr. Anthony also emphasized the importance of proper maintenance of the facilities. But as the chairman was saying, it is very important that we make sure that these things are protected, that we keep it clean and so forth. because. It makes no sense that we build these things and if we don't maintain them, then in another couple of months we'll have the same problems. So it is for all of us to make sure that it is properly maintained. Nurse Patricia Tyndall, midwife in charge of the Port Morant Health Center, during an interview highlighted the works carried out at the aforenamed Health Center. Last, well, for last year, in here, used to be our waiting area and because with COVID and the large crowd we ask for a shed which built outside which accommodate more persons than in here. We, with community effort, we built a washroom at the back for COVID patients. 
um, we had a few um, other fine work done, like changing of the back door, changing of locks. In addition to the health centers, developmental works were also carried out at Skeldon, Port Morant, and Marie Curie Hospitals. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Jalissa Hines.